Welcome to our series of videos on using the CDC created Excel tool for thematic analysis. This tool was created so that anyone who wants to collect community comments or feedback can easily organize their transcripts or notes and then identify major themes from the text without needing special software that needs to be purchased. This tool was designed with epidemic responses in mind. However, we have also developed a coding scheme that could be used in other types of health emergencies and provided a blank template into which users' coding schemes can be copied. This tool is organized into three phases. I will briefly review each of the phases and their relevant sheets, and then subsequent videos will go into more detail about how to use each of the sheets. Phase one is the setup phase, where you will begin to plan for your data collection and analysis by writing down the main questions you have about community perceptions, questions, concerns, and behaviors. You won't be asking community members directly like you would with a survey, but it will help you to be clear about what you are hoping to get from the listening. This phase also involves selecting the coding scheme most appropriate for your goals and preparing your text to bring into the tool. First off is the planning worksheet. This is where you will write in your ideas of what you wanna know and how having this information will help with your role in the emergency response. This is important because your goals in conducting the community listening will guide you in interpreting the results and using it to help the community. Next, we have a worksheet for recording important information about each of your transcripts or sets of notes. This is an optional worksheet that can be very helpful if you want to keep track of the characteristics of your different listening sessions. It will also be helpful in the next phase when you begin coding. Additional information about using this sheet is reviewed in video number two. When you first open the tool, the sheets following the select coding scheme page will be hidden until you make a decision about which coding scheme you want to use. As you can see, we have three options and you can use the buttons on this sheet to open the rest of the sheets associated with the schemes. Further information about selecting a coding scheme can be found in video number two. We will be using the epidemic coding scheme as an example in all of the following videos. When you open the coding scheme you want, you will be taken to the next sheet, which shows you the pre-developed codes. To close these sheets and go back to the select coding scheme, you can simply select the change coding scheme button. In phase two of the process, you will use pre-formatted drop-down menus to code sections of your text and then view your text organized by codes in the pivot tables. The first sheet in this phase is in, starts with the coding workspace. This is where you enter your text and is where you will do your text coding. You can see we have included some example data. Instructions on how to bring in your own text into this worksheet is covered in video number three. Information on how to code the data using this worksheet is covered in video number four. Once you have coded your text, you will be able to make to summarize those codes um, in both chart form on the coding table sheet and by looking directly at the quotes that have been coded on the quote sheet. These worksheets are the first part of your results. Information on customizing these tables is covered in video number five. In the final phase, number three, you will use the text sections grouped in the pivot tables to create themes that expand on the group of codes. Unlike in the pivot table from the previous phase, this is not done automatically for you, but rather the sheets will guide you through a manual process of further grouping the codes on the grouping code sheet and then interpreting the coded sentences on the building theme sheet. At the end of this process, after going through all of these steps, you will have a paragraph that looks like this that provides answers to the questions you posed at the beginning of the process. Information on using the thematic analysis worksheets is covered in video number six. The final worksheet in the tool brings you back to the questions that we asked in the planning worksheet to help you strategize about how best to use the results of your analysis to take action and identify who are the best parties suited to help you take action. In addition to the Excel file, which includes some minimal instructions about how to use the tool, we have also developed a user guide that describes the steps to using this tool in greater detail. Most of the information included in the following videos is also included in this guide. 
And the guide also includes additional information on how to customize the tool for your use. In the following series of videos, we will show you all of the steps that go into using the Excel tool for thematic analysis. If you feel comfortable with any parts of using this tool already, feel free to skip around to the videos for what you most need support with.